everybody, and welcome to the final day of Easter Explosion. Let's go and have some fun! Hi everybody and welcome to day four of a Easter egg explosion. I can't believe it. It's our final day. We've had so much fun. We've had challenge time. We've had the Ignite Kids team challenges. We've had red versus blues. Can you remember the scores? Yeah, it is currently two points to blues and one point to reds. It's all to play for today. Will we go into a decider or will blues win outright? The only way you're going to find out is by watching. Okay, so each day we've had a different egg word. I wonder, can you remember what day one's word was? Let me think. Have a think, have a think. It was egg expensive. Egg expensive. Okay, day two. What egg word did we have on day two? It was extract that's right it was extract it was the arrest of Jesus now day three yesterday it was quite a sad story but can you remember what day three's word was exit that's right exit it was the death of Jesus on the cross now today's word I did actually tell you yesterday I wonder if you can remember what I said today's word was hmm let me see Anybody got their hands up? It was excited, excited. We've got a really exciting story to tell you today. I can't wait. I really want to tell you, but I'm not going to because I want you to watch it a little bit later on. Mm, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, I really want to. No, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, so don't forget, we've got all of the regulars. We've got Challenge Dan. How have you guys been doing with the challenges on Challenge Dan? Some of them are really hard, aren't they? See if you can beat Dan. And why not post your scores uh, and send them to uh, our email? And then I can post up if you're beating Dan. We've got the Ignite Kids team challenges. Maybe you've been doing them as well. Take some pictures, send them to me on the email, and we will will post them as well. We've also been doing our craft, another craft again today, and we've got uh, our prayer time. I hope you've been enjoying doing the prayer time. I, I've really enjoyed the prayer time. But we've also got our song. So let's jump up on our feet for the last time this week and let's sing so loud that everybody can hear you next door. Let's get singing.
everybody, it's the last day today of reds versus blues. Now, currently, I'm winning two points to one. So Trev has to win today in order to make it a draw. Uh, today's challenge is pretty tricky because we are building an egg tower. Now, if you're going to have a go at this at home, please do not use fresh eggs. Like I said, uh, your mums won't like it. We're using plastic eggs and toilet rolls. So that's what you need, toilet rolls and plastic eggs. We've got 30 seconds. Now, that's not very long. 30 seconds to build our tower and the tallest tower still standing is going to be the winner. So uh, let's go and see how we do it. Okay, so uh, we've got our toilet rolls, we've got our eggs, we've got our timer, Trev. I'm not thinking this is going to be a very tall tower, but we'll give no. it a go. Okay, I'm going to press start, right. and then uh, let the games begin. Ready? Here we go. Steady, go. <laughs> Yes. So let's see if we can come up with a tiebreaker okay. and the kids, the boys and girls can have a challenge as well. Right. Okay, boys and girls, uh, so as you know, we are on a tie, uh, two points to reds and two points to blues, and we've had to come up with a decider. Now, over the last few months, reds versus blues on a Sunday have been doing cup games, so we decided this, uh, to decide the winner of this game, we would do a cup egg game. So you're gonna get um, seven cups, seven eggs, we're gonna throw the eggs into the caps and then put a cup on top and then keep on throwing until we run out. The tallest tower of wobbly egg caps is the winner. This is not a timed one, it's just out of eggs, the winner. We still could end up with a draw, but who knows, we, uh, we might get a winner out of this. Like I said, if you're gonna try this at home, don't use real eggs. Okay, let's go Trev. But that will be more fun, wouldn't it, Jen? Real eggs. Real eggs would be more yeah, fun. Yeah, but Mum wouldn't like it. Mum would not like it. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Once you drop the egg, it doesn't exist anymore. Right. Out of eggs, that's it. Ready, steady, go. Right. <laughs> Have a go and see what you can do. 
Uh, well done, Fred. Um, a very, very good match. The yoke was on me. The yoke is on you. <laughs> It's time for the story. Hello everybody and welcome to Ignite Kids News. Today we've got a special news report for you. Uh, a news report that I've never ever had to report on before. It's so exciting. We're going over to hear some more about this exciting news from Trev. Over to you, Trev. Well, thanks, Jen. Here I am in the Garden of Gethsemane outside Jerusalem. And this was a hive of activity earlier on because, well, the news has broken. The tomb behind me had been sealed up. And inside was the man, Jesus of Nazareth, who was only crucified a few days ago. And his body was put in here and sealed. And for some reason, I'm not quite sure, there were armed guards to guard a, a, a body. I think somebody thought they might come and steal the body of Jesus. But during the night, we heard a bit of an earthquake across the town. And this morning, we find that the guards have run away. And the tomb is opened up. And no body. Earlier this morning, a couple of ladies came down to the tomb. I think they wanted to anoint the body of Jesus, so how they would get in, I have no idea. But the rumour has it that they saw someone and, and Mary believed he was a gardener, but it turns out the gardener isn't on duty today, so who knows who that was. But the word has gone round the town that Jesus has come back to life. That is the most fantastic news in history, it's never happened before, and we wait to see if there are further reports of sightings of Jesus. And we're now back to the studio. Okay, so welcome back to the studio. That was a very, very exciting report from Trev. Um, but uh, Trev's now back from the scene, and he's got some even more exciting news. So, Trev, um, the story is amazing, you know, yes. empty tomb, people rushing around looking for a body, um, Roman soldiers running away from the scene. Um, how can it be even more exciting than that? Well, I can update you and say that the breaking news now is that we can confirm Jesus has come back to life. He's been seen across the town by various people. There was, first of all, there was Mary who went to the tomb, and then she went back and told his friends, the disciples, and they went and they've seen him, and others since have seen Jesus out and about. He has come back to life. This is amazing news. Wow, I've never heard a news story like it, boys and girls. Well, um, I hope maybe we'll be able to update you some more in the future, but this is uh, Jen and Trev reporting for you today. Thank you for joining us. It's time for the Ignite Team Challenge.
Hi, and welcome to today's craft. And today, we're going to make something very special in celebration of the fact that Jesus is alive. We are going to make a very arty cross picture out of an egg. So you should have this in your pack already. And I've already cut my, my lovely egg out. And you can feel free to decorate it however you like. I'm just going to use some tissue paper here. Um, you know, but you can use anything at all, anything that you've got at home. You could just even paint it if, if that's what you wanted to do. Or, you know, you can, um, again, use wool or bits of things that you've got lying around. I know I have lots of bits of, of glitter and sequins and buttons. And even, yeah, you can even use buttons if you wanted around. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to completely fill my egg. But you guys at home will, will do it better than me. So, once we've decorated our egg, we're going to cut it out. You'll need some coloured paper as well. We're going to cut our egg like this. And then, see, so just follow the lines on the paper. It's all laid out for you. Okay, and now we're going to arrange them on our, on our paper. So we're going to separate them and make like the cross outline. So you could have them two like that, them two like that. Can we see the, the cross there? So I'm just going to stick these down. Like this. As always, yours will probably be a lot better and neater than mine. So there we go. Okay, I'm gonna glue the back of this one. Okay, and we're just gonna Glue that one there, and there we go, you can see. And then across the middle, we're gonna write something very important. Jesus is alive. There you go, and there is our picture, complete with cross, out of our eggs, decorated a lot better than that. Happy Easter, everybody. It's time for Challenge Done! Welcome to Ignite Kids uh, Easter Holiday Club, day four, the final day. This is your last challenge, Dan. So I've got a spoon here, and I'm gonna use this to flick these other four spoons, one at a time, and try and get them to uh, land in these cups. So I'm going to have uh, eight goes in total and see how I do. Um, it might take more attempts, but I'm just going to give it eight goes. So starting now. So I'm lining this spoon up with the other. Oh, and that was a little bit too hard. Sorry if you got hit by a spoon at home. Let's do this one a little bit lighter. And green's my favourite colour, so... Oh, that's two attempts. Slightly too light. Spend a bit more time lining this one up. So, I've had four attempts. Let me just line my spoons up again. Let's go slightly further away with these ones. So, attempt five. Rubbish. Attempt six. Oh, so close. Attempt seven. Seven! Let me see if I can get one more for good luck. No. Have a go at home, see how you do. I got one in. You can probably beat me. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's time for our prayer again. And today's is a little bit messy, so you might have to get your mums or your dads to help you. Now, you're going to need a tray, okay, 
and um, either some salt or some sand. Now I've got some salt here. I haven't got lots of salt. You can see I haven't got loads of salt. Just a little bit, just enough to make a pile in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Now, if you've got um, one of those um, games where you can draw and then shake it off, one of those will work just as well. All we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna draw something today that we want to pray about. Okay, and we're gonna draw it in the sand. So I'm gonna use a pen because I don't wanna get sand all over, uh, salt all over my hands. So I'm gonna draw a world in my salt. There you go, I'm trying to, a big circle. Okay, and uh, I'll do some countries on it. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to... So God, as I look at my sand drawing, I pray for our world, that you will keep our world safe and that you'll make everybody that is poorly well. God, we thank you that you hear our prayer. Amen. So whatever it is that you want to pray for, why not do a sand or salt drawing and pray for it? And then you can shake it out and pray for something else. So you might want to pray for your family. So you could draw a house and pray for your family. God, I pray for my family that you will be with them today. Whatever it is you want to pray for, draw it in the sand, pray your prayer then shake it out and repeat. See how many things you can pray about today. I can't believe it. We've come to the end of our Easter holiday club. Oh, I've had so much fun this week. Have you had lots of fun this week? What's been your favourite bit? What's, has it been challenged, Dan? Has it been the story? Has it been the craft? Has it been the prayer? Has it been the Ignite Kids doing some silly stuff? Or has it been Reds versus Blue? Whatever your favourite bit is, uh, I, I've enjoyed it all. I can't pick anything. I've just enjoyed all of it. I promised you a great story today to get excited about. Were you excited to hear of Jesus coming back to life? I'm sure his friends were really excited too. So don't forget, before we go, before we go, don't, don't turn off yet. If you want to see your pictures or hear your jokes or whatever it is uh, you want to send it through, send it through on our email and I will post it up on our Sundays and then you can see all of the pictures and you can hear all of the jokes over the coming weeks. Uh, you'll find us on this YouTube channel every single Sunday at 11.30 a.m. But just like the Holiday Club, you can watch it whenever you want. And the packs, if you want a pack for a Sunday service, then email me and I will make sure that you get one. All right. So it's now time to do our last wiggly hands prayer. Here we go. Are you ready? One, two, three. Lord God, we thank you for all the fun that we've had learning about the Easter story this week. And God, I pray for all the boys and girls that as they go back to school, they'd, they'd be ready and they'd have lots and lots of fun doing their learning and that you will keep them all safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, everybody, uh, that's it from us. Reds versus Blues will be back on Sunday and we'll be reverting back to the other scores. I'm so pleased that I won, um, but well done, Trev, because he did a great job. I wonder who's going to win this Sunday. Will it be Trev or will it be me? What story are we going to do this Sunday? Well, like I said, log into our YouTube channel and you can have some more Ignite Kids fun on Sunday. We'll see you then. Ignite Extra next Friday on Zoom. Uh, if you want the login details, let me know and I will give them to you. Take care everybody and happy Easter!